as I said, I want to look into some more about physics and collision detection. So why not just demonstrate what I've been doing, or what I've tried doing? So I've made this. Just open it. Um, kind of little string rope thingy that you can drag around. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about the physics because it has some collision to it too. Um, you can out here you can define the length between the um, points. Just change the length. You can see now if I turn the rope, you can kind of see it has hard edges. So I can just lower the length to five again, and it has more finer points now. And um, then if you want a longer rope, you can just add the amount of notes. Um, then we can also, here where it says dynamic, dynamic size, we can change it to true, so that if you can see it starts with being kind of big up here and it kind of gets smaller um, down along the rope. And we can do the same, or it has a dynamic color to it, which means that it kind of fades out. If you can see at the starting it's just white. Uh, and then it gets darker and darker and kind of fades out and of course we can use both too yeah so you can see it kinda it gets smaller and smaller and fades out now um, I'm just going to disable it yeah and if you are thinking or going to ask why I have this huge gap right here in my source code I just made it because I don't want any hating comments on my way of programming or the reason that I made something and yes I have gotten that so that's the reason for the gap okay and I also like to program all my collision detection so I don't uh, normally use rectangle in the um, for instance rectangle 2d dot double class I don't use the dot intersects or dot contains and then test if it contains a point or light uh, not light, um, line, um, and things like that. I program my own collision detection. And um, this rope here, if it touches itself at some point, it'll say uh, it'll make a, a red circle around the point. If we're just going to drag it into itself, you can see it creates these red circles around the point where it intersects with itself. And um, the reason that I also made this on my own is because if I just use the line.2d and then check if these points uh, collide with itself, it's going to say that they are constantly um, colliding everywhere because uh, the one point where it ends, another point starts um, another part of the line or rope. So it'll say that these two lines are colliding. And that's one of the um, reasons that I make my own collision detection um, algorithm and the other one is that I can make them faster too and change some stuff uh, so yeah just a little rope here uh, with some cool fe whoa it didn't uh, with some cool features and um, yeah I've made something more this curve here uh, or it's like a rope too so there's a rope in between these two points and you can see if I the more I drag it away from the point the more it kinda um yeah you know I don't really remember what it's called but, but yeah it's the more I keep it the more it's kinda yeah you know I, I can't explain right now um, and then the more I um, drag the two points closer the more it's going to hang down and um, I can just move them around and get it to jump and yeah and it has some physics to it um, and I can also drag it and it's just going to jump right back and um, then if you didn't watch my uh, 100 uh, video uh, 100 videos video um, I showed some cloth right here 
that I made too. So we have this cloth and we can uh, drag it and it acts like real cloth and um, we can drag this in front and it looks really neat and we can also pause and well we don't have to but pause and uh, remove some of the cloth and uh, yeah you can tear it down and you also also you can kind of like the rope make it in better quality or get the points closer so it gets in a higher quality but that takes up more CPU um so yeah you kind of get the image of it um but I will make it better if I can of course and there's some physics applied and this is real fun playing with and when you press the backspace we can reset it and we can just tear it down turn off the cloth uh, or not the cloth but the um, and see the blue the fill of the cloth so we're going to see the skeleton uh, and see like that say, say it like that and just tear it down yeah and um this is just what I've been making I've been really uh, right now I'm actually tr more trying to make my website uh, making some of the new features and just making my website come up and run because I got stuck or not stuck but I stopped at a really early point in the creation of the website so I want to get a really good uh, website up and running so yeah that's what I'm trying to do right now but um, if you like some of these uh, physics and collision detection things mix um, say if you want a tutorial and I'll try explaining my best how to make this and how it works and yeah and right now I'm also working on a mod or more mod system or added on system uh, depending on what you call it, um, which both loads external uh, JAR files into the program, you can use it and you can get it to load from your computer or load from um, an internet site so you don't really have to download it. And um, in a couple of hours I hope that I get to upload a video showing it because it's actually kind of cool and I was really amazed when what I just made just worked right away but yeah I've tried making uh, an edit on on my system before but uh, this one just tops them all that I've made but yeah I'll upload a, a new video of that in a couple of hours I hope so um, if not later see you then